After 95 years, the classic cartoon that debuted the now iconic character Mickey Mouse, called Steamboat Willie, has finally become public domain, meaning that Disney no longer holds any copyright over that short in particular. The specifics of this were laid out when a Twitter user shared this image that shows what you can and can't do with Mickey Mouse now, specifying that only the first version of Mickey Mouse is public domain, with Disney still owning the trademark to Mickey Mouse, meaning that you can't use him in a way that misleads customers into thinking the work is produced or sponsored by Disney, as well as still holding the copyright to newer iterations of Mickey. But RYJX missed that detail and decided to make an NFT of the modern Mickey Mouse on a steamboat that says, End Woke, as well as pricing it at 50,000 Ethereum, meaning that no one will ever buy it. Sylvie quote tweets him and says, Nobody's paying $120 million for an AI image of Mickey Mouse saying, End Woke. Trey the Explainer reacts to Steamboat Willie becoming public domain by saying, I will say it is nice to see that despite Disney's repeated attempts to undermine the pre-existing laws and lobby politicians, there ultimately was nothing they could do to stop Steamboat Willie from entering the public domain. And since Steamboat Willie has entered the public domain, a couple of people on Twitter have done some interesting things with the cartoon, like Super from ND who tweeted out this creation with the caption, Steamboat Willie went public domain today, so I'm celebrating in the most super way possible. I converted the entire thing to run as an MS-DOS video file via XDC. Jessa Matt tweets out this post from the artist of the Mario and Luigi series, Masanori Sato, where they drew a picture of Mario and Mickey together to celebrate Steamboat Willie becoming public domain. Drew Wise creates this art of the Steamboat Willie Mickey doing the Sonic Adventure pose. Mountain Storm Zero shows a picture of Oswald the Rabbit and Steamboat Willie Mickey and says, Wait! They are both public domain! Oh my fucking god! Someone can make an epic Mickey sequel! She says from Boundary Break shares a similar idea when he tweets out, You could literally put Mickey Mouse and Cuphead without consequence. Jolly J says, Mickey Mouse being the main villain of Shrek 5 would be the most iconic crossover moment in animation history. Vivitism shares this creation with the caption, every copy of Steamboat Willie is personalized. Toonhole Chris shares this image of Walt Disney walking in on Mickey Mouse having sex with Shrek and captions it by saying, The next five years of Steamboat Willie content. Defunct Land says, Everyone is really excited about Steamboat Willie entering the public domain, but please remember that the title is still trademarked, so any redistribution must legally be named Boat Rat Drives Boat. Justin Wang says, Tired of all these posers pretending to care about Steamboat Willie. I'm a day one Steamboat Willie head, and then Grindhouse Babe completely owns him when she points out that that's Justin Wang's only tweet about Steamboat Willie and captions it by saying, That's crazy, cause you haven't posted about him until two minutes ago. Hashtag poser. Max from Brain Dump says, Man you guys, now that Mickey Mouse is public domain, I can finally draw him doing the most transgressive fucked up shit! But that would be mean. So here's a wholesome image of Mickey humbly worshipping the Christ. Yeshua. Lord, thank you so much for the joy and serenity that my faith in you has brought to my life. But it seems like Max was the odd one out when wanting to place Mickey in wholesome scenarios. Because as soon as Steamboat Willie lost its copyright and became public domain, a trailer for a co-op horror game where players are haunted by the original Mickey Mouse dropped, and of course it looked exactly as you would expect it to look. Not Josh quote tweets the trailer and says, We have the opportunity to make a hard as fuck Steamboat Willie platformer, and y'all make another buy the books horror game. I hate it here. Gubby reacts to the announcement by saying, Public domain spawn camping is crazy. Jolly J says, Bruh! Mickey Mouse hasn't even been been 
public domain for 12 hours. The NC Smasher says, creative minds when they use family friendly characters, old reliable blood gore drugs and sex jokes. Rick Raptor 105 says, people are mocking the idea of a Steamboat Willie horror film when 90% of the shit Mickey does in the cartoon is just torturing animals for his own sick amusement. Sammy posts this comic he made with the caption, Steamboat Willie. All right, gentlemen, we need to develop a product based off this children's character. Shows a picture of Mickey, they look unimpressed, adds a bloody knife to him, and they're sold. Sylvian quote tweets the fact that The Passion of Joan of Arc also became public domain in 2024 and captions it by saying, everybody talking about the Steamboat Willie bullshit is not ready for the four person co-op horror Passion of Joan of Arc video game I'm about to unleash on the world. Galaxy Cowboy makes this drawing of Winnie the Pooh and Steamboat Willie Mickey with Pooh saying, welcome to the public domain Mickey, thanks Pooh, and then them just inexplicably turning into horror characters. Abramitz shares this clip with the caption, basically the first day of Steamboat Willie becoming public domain in a nutshell. On the one hand, gold. On the other hand, painful, agonizing failure. Hard Drive says, hundreds of indie filmmakers rushed to create the first four out of 10 Steamboat Willie horror movie. And speaking of more Steamboat Willie horror movies, of course, there were many that were getting announced with the most prominent of which on Twitter being tweeted out by discussing film. And of course, a lot of people had reactions to it. ZBG says, something goes public domain. Someone makes a cheap slasher movie. It's trash. Repeat. Lazio says, filmmakers only have one idea when something goes public domain. Richard D. Rembert says, Disney executives watching Mickey Mouse turn into 80 different killer mouse movies. You fucking Another Mickey Mouse horror movie called Mickey's Mousetrap gets announced, and Kyra quote tweets it by saying, I have a conspiracy theory that big corporates are secretly bankrolling these shitty horror movies so that people can hate public domain. Vincent Alexander says, There's not much point to doing edgy versions of Steamboat Willie when the original is so full of gleefully twisted humor. And that's about it for the discussion on Twitter about Steamboat Willie. As you can tell by the clip I just showed you, Steamboat Willie, if you have a bit of a sick mind, or even if you don't, is a really good watch. Despite being 95 years old, I think it's aged very well. And I'm actually excited to see what people do with this cartoon in the public domain, outside of cheap, shitty horror movies. I would love to see new creative works based on this short that is more in line with something like Cuphead. That game nailed the rubber hose 1930s style cartoon perfectly and I would love to see people continue making that type of content but with the actual Mickey Mouse from Steamboat Willie implemented into it now that it's public domain. A creation that was going around on Twitter that isn't exactly using Steamboat Willie but is very inspired by it obviously is this video game coming out called Mouse which is a first person shooter game in the style of Cuphead and cartoons from the 1930s. It's really cool I recommend you check that out but before you do don't forget to leave a like subscribe with notifications on for more Twitter stuff and leave your thoughts on all of this in the comment section below. But with all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in another video.